Well, it's the end of our PD, so let's jam out. Sounds good. Oh, Seth, what is this? Across the universe. The original is so much better. Getting by a little help from my friends. Getting by a little help from my friends. Whoa, Seth, trying to stay here. Getting by a little help from my friends. Do you need anybody? I need somebody. <laughs> Now, one friend, what is your emergency? Hi, I need an ambulance. There's been a very bad wreck at the high school. I need somebody under now. Okay, which ma'am? What high school are you at? <laughs> Friendswood High School. Friendswood High School. Right okay. in front of the poles. Right in front of the poles. How many how many vehicles are involved? It looks like there's two of them head on. It's their bait. They were hit head on and now they're so trash. I don't know. Okay, so there are injuries. Yes. Okay, yes. ma'am, if you'll stay on the phone, I'm going to go ahead and dispatch out the um, fire department at EMS, okay? Don't hang Just up. Just hurry, okay? okay? Hold on one second. I'll go find the family. What are you in high school, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, what grade are you in? I'm a senior. How is she? Um, she was in a car accident. She has injuries to her head, had injuries to her stomach. Yeah, Unfortunately, those did. led to making her heart stop. And Do you feel hopeless or that there's nothing to live for? Right now. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, but your daughter has died. That there's, you couldn't do anything. There's, at this point, there was nothing we could do with the injuries of her head and her stomach, which were too great for us to get her heart started again. Yeah. Would you please state your name for the record? Heather Limmer. Ms. Limmer, um, did you suffer some injuries? Are you okay? I can't feel my legs. EMS is on, what? on our way, okay? Hold on just a second. Grace? Have the doctors indicated to you whether you will ever be able to walk again. 
They said I wouldn't be able to walk again. I'm sorry, I didn't understand you. What was your answer? They said I won't be able to walk again. Why don't you tell the court whether or not you regret your actions for May 20th, 2008? I regret them. What would you have done differently if you could turn back time? I would have listened to James. Your Honor, we find ourselves at the apex of a tragic situation. Seth Ramsey has proven himself to be a danger to the families of Friendswood. I'm asking that you impose the maximum possible punishment, 20 years in the Department of Corrections, that we cannot be safe with Mr. Ramsey driving on the streets of Friendswood. Mr. Ramsey is not a danger to our society, and based on his testimony, you can believe that he will not make the same mistake twice. Your Honor, please do not throw away this young man's life. Mr. Ramsey, you're obviously a bright young man with a promising future, and as you testified, hopes and dreams of your own, but so did the persons whose lives you ended and impacted. Mr. Van Meter and Ms. Hawkins will not live another day, and Ms. Limmer will never walk. Therefore, Mr. Ramsey, I am today hereby sentencing you to 20 years imprisonment for each charge of intoxication manslaughter. Remember, Mr. Ramsey, you are the one who chose to throw away your own life as well as end the lives of two persons and devastate the life of a third. I know as a uh, Christian that I should have uh, compassion and some kind of forgiveness for you, but that is uh, not in my heart today. The fact that you feel remorseful and feel bad means nothing to me. It's nothing compared to what my wife and I feel in losing our daughter. I was there the day she came into the world, and I loved her every day with all my heart until the day you killed her. My life, my wife's life has been destroyed. I don't know if we will ever go on. This is just a day that we have the satisfaction of seeing you accept responsibility for what you've done. Seth, they've asked if I want to say anything to you, but the fact is I, I really don't know what to say. You've lost your friend, but I've lost my baby boy. Put your hands behind your back. 